Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. This is Alex, and uh, this is The Ramble. It goes on until midnight tonight, Eastern Daylight Time. But uh, it, and it, we're only doing two days this week because we, we, uh, we had a little uh, holiday off, right? Okay. So anyway, that's, that, that's what that's all about. Uh, we're going to uh, go see a dear friend of ours and uh, find out how he's doing. Ladies and gentlemen, if there's anyone I could call a Luddite... It would be Larry Bubbles Brown. Hello, Lawrence. Yeah, or Larry Landline Brown. That's Larry Land. <laughs> Larry Landline Brown. Jeez, Almighty Larry. When are we going to get you into the uh, uh, well 2018s? When you get out here, I will. We'll set it up. Yeah. Because I, I'm going to need you for tech support, but uh, it's amazing. I think. There's so few landlines left anymore. But yeah, and you're one of them. I'm one of them. Yeah. Now, have you have you checked into getting service for yourself? I actually went to AT and T, and they said that uh, our building for them is too old. They said I would be getting with their high speed with our building. I would be getting, I think it was one Jeep. One BPS or three BPS, and the guy said that's actually not much faster than dial-up. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so I know is if if you can't get AT and T to sell you something, I know it must be bad. So, well, hmm. so I'm, I'm thinking the other people because yeah. there are there are young people in the building. They've got to have high speed. Have maybe. Maybe Comcast comes in and drills something. Oh, it could be that you should check with the other people in the building. Or do you talk to your neighbors? I, I tell a few of them, yes. Are you that guy that they say, uh, gee, he was so nice and quiet. I don't, know why <laughs> he, so quiet. I don't know why he took out half the neighborhood with a machete. <laughs> well, thank God I've been cleared in the Golden State Killer case. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Well, you sneaked by on that one, didn't you? <laughs> Mm. Because here's here's the deal. I last week I I don't know. Here's what here's what happened. My wife writes me and says, "I just got a deal through my AT and T guy that I deal with at the office. I just got myself a iPhone X and a new tablet. And the tablet was like a hundred dollars. And then I got the new the iPhone X. And I I couldn't let her get away with that." Right? Yeah. I have to keep up with her tech. She can't get one tech ahead of me. So mm -hmm. I ran down and I signed up. I got myself an iPhone X. And I got a new iPad. I got a $200 iPad because I wanted more memory in it. Uh, which was a really cheap deal on an iPad. <coughs> Excuse me. I got something stuck in my throat. So uh, that leaves me, of course, with my old phone. Which is a good one. It's a six plus. It's a big one. Mm -hmm. Now, if we can just find some way for you to be able to get that hooked up, it has to be hooked up to AT and T because it's an AT and T phone. Although I don't know, oh. they may be. They may. You don't understand this, but they may be able to change the SIM card in it and make it for some other service. You could ask about that. Yeah, I'm with Sprint. Let me talk to our old friend Larry Stoll, still works at Sprint. So oh, oh, really? Can, After yeah. all these years, huh? Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, see, if, if I've got a, uh, a at and SIM card in mind, if they pulled the SIM, well, the SIM card has been pulled out, actually, and put in my new phone. Uh, if the, they have a SIM card that'll make it work with Sprint, you know, I think okay. so. I'll ask them. If that's the case, you could get service through them Oh, but then then you got to set up the phone. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, I send it. I'd send it to you restored, so it starts at the very beginning. And go hello, 
and then what's your name, and what's your name, and Papa do, you know. And then you got to get a, let's see here, you have to have a, for an Apple, you have to have an Apple account. That doesn't mean you're going to spend anything on it. They just need a credit card online or something. Uh, you do have credit cards, don't you? I do have credit cards. Oh, yeah. good. Oh, thank God. Oh. They're, um, they're on the verge of outlawing cash, so. Uh. If, yeah, yeah. Uh, but no, but I mean, uh, you know, if you if you want this phone, I got it. You know, it's a, it's a good one, but it's a matter of getting you all hooked up first, and that's the prerequisite. Yeah, let me talk to Larry and see what I can do. Yeah, and, and, and check with your neighbors. I can't imagine that there's an apartment in New York City that they can't put high-speed Internet into. It's just they don't want to, you know. Yeah, he uh, d definitely said it wouldn't be worth it. So It wouldn't be worth it? How many people are in your apartment building? Twelve, uh, 12 units. All right, well, that's worth it, isn't it? That's 12 people you're selling stuff to or are potentially selling stuff to. Why? That doesn't seem, doesn't seem to make much sense. It's kind of like and saying, uh, we don't want your business because you're, you're outdated. You know, well, fuck I you. The, I bet the people here are all, I bet they're all on Comcast. You might check. You might check. In fact, as a matter of fact, you're absolutely right, uh, Larry. Do you have Comcast? No. You don't have cable. I don't have cable. God, no. I, what is with you? I've got the, uh, I've got, I still get my TV over the air with, with the digital converter. Oh, geez, almighty. God, you are just the, the worst. Um, uh, because if you had cable in there, I'm sure they have cable, you know, uh, cable internet service. Because that comes in on the same cable. Yeah, I should probably call Comcast. Yeah, you know. call them and see what the what the deal is there. You know, and then yeah. of course they'll try to upsell you everything and just tell them I want basic service and I want a decent internet package. That's it. That's you know, oh, I dread calling these people because they try to sell you so much crap. Oh, I'll tell you, everybody tries to upsell you. I've got I I, I do business with a company called GoDaddy, and they used to be pretty good. But now every, I get keep getting sales calls. Hey, you know, your your system that you're using for blah, blah, blah is not what you should be having, and you should be upgraded to this. And I'm going, don't upsell me. Don't call me and upsell me. I bought your fucking service. Now leave me the fuck alone. Yeah, it's really annoying. Yeah. You know, and, and uh, um, I got one today. I didn't even answer from them. Because I'm going, all they're going to do is they're going to tell me, well, you know, that system you got for the mail is outmoded, but we can upgrade you to put that, but that, but that, but that. Fuck you. Fuck you with your stuff, you know? It's ridiculous. I know. So, yeah. But, uh, but uh, I would like to get you into, like, you know, the 21st century. Yeah, it would be nice to have a... Uh not to have to wait 20 minutes for a page you, to you download. Know, you know, you, you, well, you know what I, what, I, what I see here, Larry, is the reason why you are not um, upgrading like crazy is you really don't care, do you? <laughs> I gave up a long time ago. Yeah, I mean, you don't care. Am I, am I right or wrong about that? Yeah, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Uh, yeah. Kevin Meany, bless him. Uh, yeah, you just don't care. So, I mean, you're, you, so you, you don't wake up in the morning and say, today is the day I'm going down to Comcast and I'm going to talk to them about blah, 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 because you don't even know what you need. That's right. Yeah. What you need is a high, fast Internet service in there, and you need, um, um, you need Wi-Fi in your apartment, but... When you get internet service, it comes with a modem and it does have Wi-Fi in it. Okay, so you will automatically get Wi-Fi in your apartment. Then you would have to go to ask Larry Stoll at, at Sprint if, if if an iPhone six can be used on Sprint with a different SIM card. Okay. Yeah. Do you know what? Okay. Say, remember this. What kind of card, Larry? Sim. Sim, SIM card. SIM card, right. And uh, if it's true, fine. Otherwise, you'd have to sign up with AT&T. 
Okay, I'm, uh, I'm going to see him tomorrow. And, actually, and signing up with AT and T for the phone service is different than hooking up with them for, you know, service in your home. So, okay. and that would cost you about I don't know how much a month. And I'm expecting somewhere in the neighborhood of. What do I pay my, for my phone a month for the service? Uh, bu- 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 might be thirty dollars, something like that. I don't know. Thirty is fine. That's about what I pay. Some people I know pay eighty to a hundred, which is well. I'm paying. I'm me. paying a hundred and um, I'm paying like a hundred and sixty, but I'm also paying off the phone at fifty bucks a month. So, if you take that away, I'm paying about a hundred, you know, hundred and ten. Okay. And that's with my iPad. So without the iPad, I'm I'm paying like ninety a month. It you know. They upsell you like crazy. I I really hate the whole thing. And as I get older, it's harder for me. You know, I go into a dealer like I did the other day, and he says, and then we have this and that, and I'm getting frustrated because I'm not understanding it all. And I went. I was never like this. I used to go in some place. I knew exactly what they were. I knew more than, more than they knew. And now I'm having to get down simple concepts, you know, in 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 uh, uh, buying a, a phone, and uh, ridiculous, just ridiculous. So, uh, well, things are moving faster than people can keep up with it. So, well, they are. They they certainly I you know have to keep up with it and. Every time I'm faced with a new task that I have to do, it's like having to relearn something, you know. It's not like the old days where I immediately got it, you know, and I think that's part of getting old. I feel so at the whim of other people. So when these guys call me up from GoDaddy and say, you need your, your, your email services, uh, we don't like to serve that anymore. We want this new one for you. But what you're going to have to do is if you have uh, uh, Outlook 365, you're going to have to change that. You're going to have to do this. And I went, just leave me where I am. Yeah, but that's the old system. Yeah, fine. Leave me there. It's working. I get my I mail every day, you know? Yeah, stand change. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like for instance, when it comes to email, now you you may not be able to get this concept. They have two kinds of things. There are two kinds of different services, and one of them, which I think is called IMAP, is that everything you do on your machine does it on all your other machines. In other words, if I delete a file, it deletes it on all the other machines. Well, I don't want that. You know, I want it that if I save one on one machine, but I get right, rid of it on right. another, it's not going to affect all the others. And that's that. I didn't want that kind of service. That's what they want to give me. And I'm going, I don't want it. You know, I want to be able to control where my mail goes and how long it stays on a particular machine. So, uh, you know, uh, good. It, 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 Larry Stahl, we know him. Uh, he's an honest guy. He certainly won't rip you off, you know, right. even though he may rip off the next customer that walks in. <laughs> uh, but, you know, you know what I'm saying. It, it's just mm-hmm. not a bad, uh, you know, go to him. He'll, he'll give you some decent information. And tell him you were talking to Alex, and Alex has got an iPhone 6 Plus that he, he no longer needs and is willing to give it to me. Uh, can you adapt it to Sprint? It's an AT, it was an AT&T machine. But I think now with these SIM cards, they're forced by law to be able to make these phones work with any company. Just the company has to supply the SIM card. Oh, okay. You know, so. That's a card that goes in the phone that tells the phone what your phone number is and all the other information and what service you're hooking on to. And Sprint's not bad. They're not great, but they're not bad. So, you know. I'd just be, I'd just be, see, if you had yourself on iPhone, then I could call you using Skype and I could see you. Mm-hmm. And then I could put your face on the air for all these people to see. <clears throat> well, that would be a negative. So, uh, you, Well, yes, you're right. Okay, I take it all back. All right. Uh, but, uh, no, so this is, you know. So. Hey, what's new in your life? Let's quit talking about technology. I know it's making your, <laughs> I may, it's making your head hurt. 
Well, no, I actually kind of I was thinking about because we're coming up on the we're coming up on the 49th anniversary of the moonwalk. Yeah. And as much much as I don't care about computers, I was just thinking the computers they had to get that thing done must have been incredibly crude. It's amazing they did it. The computer. That, let me put it this way: uh, if I if I send you this iPhone, you will be holding in your hand like hundreds and hundreds of times the computer power, maybe more than that, that they had on that mission. Yeah. You know. Um, they could do the whole mission with an iPhone now. <laughs> you know? Really? Wow. Well, I mean, for, for all the stuff their computer was doing, it didn't. It wasn't very powerful. You know? I mean, for the day, I guess it was state-of-the-art. But uh, it, it, well, it didn't have the computing power that an iPhone has or any, any smartphone would have. So, yeah. I want to know when they're going to come out with the idiot phones. The ones that aren't, or, 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 or the special phones, the ones that aren't so smart, you know? <laughs> well, they have one called the, uh, they have the cell phone for old people called the Jitterbug. Uh, uh, oh, the Jitterbug, yeah, for old people, right? And, and now, so Curtis, uh, our old friend Curtis just told me they actually have a Jitterbug now is making a smartphone for older people, so I guess yeah, but what maybe is it, I should look into that. What has it got? Bigger buttons and stuff? Yeah, it's got bigger buttons. <laughs> oh, man, oh, man. Well, you know, I, I, I don't, you know, I would think, I, I may be wrong, but I find that even as an older person, that the newer phones are are really very easy to operate. All you have to do is understand how to use them. I mean, you know, the basic functions of them and how to find things. But, I mean, they're pretty simple. And I don't know why the jitterbug people feel they need to come out with what essentially is a retarded phone. <laughs> retarded. <laughs> well, yep. don't they say that... Uh the cell phones now are probably most people. There's 90 percent of the stuff on the phone they're not even using. They, there's so much stuff on. Oh, them. I've got an iPad here, and it's got all kinds of stuff on it. All kinds of programs I can use and go to, and so on. And what do I use? Uh, Solitaire, the crossword puzzle from the New York Times, and uh, a, a game called Bedazzle. That's all I ever do on my iPad. <laughs> You know, uh, and on my iPhone, what I do is I play music. That's a, its main function. Receive occasional calls when any human being thinks I'm still alive and decides to call me. <laughs> because nobody calls me. Nobody calls me. Nobody. Uh, uh, text. Yes, I get text. Um, yeah, I get text. Um uh, Probably more of those than I do um, actual calls. Uh, and then when I go to the gym, I uh, put my phone in front of me and hook up Netflix and watch a show there while I'm pedaling endlessly on this bike, which is, you know, at least when you're running, y you see scenery. Mm -hmm. You know, when I'm on that fucking bike, nothing's moving except me. And it's so boring. It is boring. I'm getting to absolutely hate it. But, like, when we're through here, I'm going to go down there and do another 20 minutes on the bike, you know, just to say I did it today. And then I always say I'm going to do 20 minutes, and I wind up doing 30. Uh, it's uh, it's uh, ridiculous. Just ridiculous. So uh, um, uh, that's my that's my big deal for the, for the day is going down. So then when I'm doing it, I watch, like, a Netflix show. Uh, and I sweat all over my iPhone. So, <laughs> you know, and then sometimes, I, one time I, I left, I have these Bluetooth earphones, you know? You know what a Bluetooth earphone is? It's, I've heard, yes, I've heard of them. They're wireless. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so I'm, I use that. And then all of a sudden I, I'm, I walk over to another machine or I'm doing something and I realize I'm still getting the sound from the movie, but I don't have my iPhone with me. I left it back on the bike. Because I'm still hearing the sound, so I, now I have to always remember it. Me, me, be sure you take your phone with you, Alex. 
Yeah. Well, I, technology. But, what? Uh, God, I remember when you had uh, your first cell phone. It was like. The, oh, that was the one in the car. Yeah. Uh, and very it, impressive at the time. It was very impressive. Did it have a cord on it? I think it had a cord on it. I think it did. Yeah. Yeah, and it it hooked right into the yeah, and uh, it and was uh, yeah. That was my first. I was one of the first people, I guess, to ever have one of those. You were one of the first. It was huge. Yeah. Uh, it was, uh, and it did. It you know um, that that was my. Then I got. Then they came out with all the Motorola flip phones, you know, and they were bulky. They were really bulky. Um, the first cell phones were actually huge, uh, and they, you, could, you couldn't put them in a pocket. You had to carry them in, like, some kind of carry-all or something like that. Uh, but now, I mean, these things are, they, they got really small. Now they're getting bigger so they can have more screen space for people. But um, this thing goes right in my pocket, you know. And, and in there, I've got uh, about 4,000 songs as well. You know, my entire record library is record. Music library is on that phone. So, I mean, think of the, you want to talk about computing power? That's your computing power, Lawrence. You yeah, know? I can't imagine it, it can hold that much. Oh, Storage yeah. Storage is unbelievable. Well, you remember the first iPods that came out? Did you ever? You didn't have one of those, did you? No, no. I don't like music. So. Oh, okay. Well, the iPod, uh, which was a phenomenal invention. I mean, it resuscitated Apple from nothing to something, and uh, it, it, they resuscitated it. And um, part of that, and part of what resuscitated it was the fact that you could put thousands and thousands of songs on this little thing that goes in your pocket. And that, that was a revolutionary idea, uh, more so than the iPhone. The iPhone was kind of an extension of the iPod, you know. It played the music, but it also took calls. Um, and uh, it was a, it was, it, the iPod was amazing. And it started out, I can't remember, it had a hard drive in it. That's what it held the music on was a, a physical hard drive, small one. And then mm -hmm. they, they got bigger and bigger uh, until they got to about 250 uh, gigabytes, I think. Is that how much? I can't remember how high it went. And then they decided, well, you know, uh, we're, we're going to do away with the iPod because we can do this with the iPhone. And now I have like 256 gigs in my phone on a flash drive. So what was once a hard drive is now a flash drive. And so it's, it's it, it being a solid state drive. It's not, it's not moving, it's not, it has no moving physical parts. So I mean, all that, I mean, when you think about the jump we've made in the technology in, I think the iPhone's only 10 years old, it's amazing. Yeah, and this guy what will be in another 10 years. Now, on the other hand, it's made people, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, un unsociable. Because you get oh, on, definitely, you, yeah. get, you get on a, a subway car here in New York City, and what's everybody doing? They're looking at their, uh, they're looking at their phone. Oh, they're they're looking at their phones walking down the street. They are slaves to their phones. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, I am too. I don't know how many times a day I look at it to see if somebody somewhere possibly loves me. <laughs> you know, looking for that affirmation. I saw a documentary yesterday on how Facebook, you know, was, you remember how uh, uh, we found out that, uh, that smoking cigarettes were a delivery system for nicotine? Mm -hmm. You know, and nicotine, it made you, it, you got addicted to the nicotine, and they, so they created, they knew it was addictive. Well, Facebook did the same thing. They knew how to make Facebook addictive by the little thumbs up things on there. You don't know about any of this, but the little thumbs up. No, I, I know up, that. Oh, okay, yeah. the little thumbs up stuff, and the likes, and the dislikes, and the friending, and the unfriending, all of that is addictive. And they were using a BF Skinner. And some of his approaches in the early days where he had the Skinner box where he would put a chicken in there and reward him and then 
chop his head off if he was wrong. I can't remember what Skinner did. <laughs> They're using a lot of Skinner's principles on on uh, on motivation and on uh, getting people addicted to stuff. So, you know, it, it's it's a whole. Uh, we're in a horrible world we live in right now. It's only going to get worse. And maybe next time we talk, we'll talk about how bad this world has gotten. Yeah. But I always enjoy talking to the Luddite of them all, the, the king of the Luddites. <laughs> if there was a, you know how there's a mouse king, you know, the thing where they got a mouse king. This, he's the Luddite king, you know. You would be, you would be, you would, your, your, your name will remain in legend, in Luddite. <laughs> I don't know what I just said. Hey, Larry, thanks. Good talking to you, buddy. Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Ah, well, you saw me for a few moments there. You know, a couple days off, I can't remember how, remember, I can't remember how to run this equipment. There we go. Mm. There was Bubs. Okay, uh, I, I I can't wear a shirt tonight. Uh, you know, I usually wear this over me, which brightens up the picture oddly enough. You see, but I the reason I'm not doing this tonight is it's so fucking hot in here. Um, the air conditioning it's 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 cool coming out of there, but it's not really dehumidifying the room very well and the same thing is true with the one in the bedroom i think that the humidity is so fucking high right now in new york city that uh well we just can't stand it okay so anyway uh let me see how did i used to run this whole thing right <laughs> you, know, you take a couple of days off and you forget completely how this stuff works okay that's called skype all right and so I put Skype on, and there we go, and uh, we are waiting for people to call. It's that simple. If you don't know how to call us, go over to gabnet.net. Over on the right-hand side of the page is a whole tutorial on how to call us. It's not complicated. You download one program, and you push one button, and you're in. You know, and you're talking to us live on the air. And we see you, and you see us, and we all have a lot of fun. Uh, I don't know if Phil's going to call tonight. I heard from Phil. He had his uh, heart procedure today where they did an angioplasty. They blow up a balloon in there to clear out some stuff. And it turns out he had 100% blockage. So they put a stent in there. And then he's got to go back to San Francisco's Kaiser next week uh, to have another procedure because they think there's another one in there that they couldn't exactly find at his Kaiser. Okay. Um, so they're keeping him in the hospital overnight. He said he might try and call tonight, but, you know, all I want you to do, Phil, is rest and get better, and we worry about you. Okay? All right? Okay. So now we're waiting for everybody else to call, and uh, the lines are open. Man, it is just, it is so hot in here. See, if I take this off, the, the light gets dimmer in here. Do you notice that? Uh, and, and then I bring it back up again, and it gets brighter. I gotta, I gotta do something about that whole brightness deal. Hmm. But anyway, I'm, I, I gotta take this off because it's just too f motherfucking humid in here. Uh, it's, it's, you know, and it's it, the air is coming out of there. I checked it, uh, but it's not, uh, it's not really working well. I've got to get maybe a new air conditioner. I'm afraid about getting an air conditioner, though, because I'm a... a what is it? Uh, this table is... See, look at that. The camera's moving. Oh, look, it's Phil. Hey, Phil. Hey, how you doing? You're on the, you're on the phone, actually, is what you are. Right? Uh, well, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm laying on in a hospital bed uh, at Kaiser. Yeah. Uh, they stuck a wire in my heart today. Yeah. Uh, you know, I thought they used to use wooden stakes. Yeah. No, they, 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 <laughs> yeah, it's a stent, right? Yeah. Yeah. I got, I got a stent. Uh, I'm going to have to go back and get another one. Why? Uh, Why? Well, um, 
the one they put in uh, was in the one part of the heart that they could see, but now they want to send me to a different hospital. Uh, I have another blockage, and they need different equipment to get in there because it's further in. Hmm. So um, uh, they're going to do it again. Wow. You know, uh, the doctor said, you know, uh, like one in 500 uh, can have a heart attack during this process. So I said, how many have you done to date? Are you up to 499 yet? <laughs> so, uh, but, uh, yeah. Well, it's, so, not, it's nice they give you those kind of odds. Yeah, but now if they're going to do it again, that's, that would be one out of 250. I, I, you're right. <laughs> but... Um, so they, uh, they, well, uh, not having a heart attack, it, but having a heart attack doesn't mean they died. They uh, just well, no, but uh, I haven't had a heart attack, so I would prefer not to have one. But uh, you know, the, the other I, thing I've heard that I've heard that, I've heard that it's actually preferable to not have a heart attack. Yeah, yeah, I, I think that's a good thing. Uh, although. My my uh, the stint that they put in that st- artery was a hundred percent blocked. Well, doesn't that make you question your nourishment? <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe. I think it's going to be uh, chicken, fish, and salads. Yeah. Uh, from that on. Wow. A hundred percent blockage, and the hearts are an amazing thing. It it, it because it was blocked. It started growing uh, veins or arteries or whatever they are around the blockage to supply yeah. uh, to supply blood to the heart because this was the one in the heart, you know. I mean, it was it was right there. Matt, do you feel better? I don't know. <laughs> I just had a Norco. <laughs> you just had a what? Uh, uh, some sort of drug. Uh, uh, I was having. Uh, some pain where they insert the uh, the uh, catheter mm-hmm. into your arm. Yeah, and uh, so they gave me some sort of drug, and you know they keep asking me, "Well, do you have pain? What is it?" It's a ten. <laughs> yeah, no, no, always, always, it's a ten. Yeah, always. We've been joined. Always. We've been joined by. You know, they, we've been joined by Brian. Hi, Brian. Ah. We can't hear you. He just said, oh, fuck. He, I saw him oh. say that. I could <laughs> tell that that was, he mimed, oh, fuck. He's, yeah. He's trying to get yeah, the they, audio yeah. on. There's an international symbol for that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, so so uh, uh, how long are they going to keep you in the hospital? Uh, well, uh, you know, on the door it says psychiatric ward. I, I really? For a while. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> this is a cardiac uh uh, they'll let me out in the morning. Oh, really? Okay. All right. Because I yeah, told you when I went to the, when I went to the hospital, they put me in the um, what, what's the ward where cancer? Uh, oh, uh, the yeah, the Haley uh, something uh, there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. And they put me in that, and I I went. What, are they trying to tell me something? I was worried about <laughs> it. I didn't know why I was in. Uh, Palliative care, that was it. Palliative yeah, care. Yeah, that's it. Palliative care. And they put me in palliative care, and I couldn't figure out why the fuck they put me in palliative care. And they just said, because we didn't have any other rooms available, so you lucked out. Because palliative care, we give them the biggest TV sets in the in the place, you know, and the best food and everything, because they're going to die. You know, so. Well, you know, I've got a uh, TV in this room. I'm, I, I have my own room, mm-hmm. and uh, but the TV plays through this remote control and has a little tiny speaker that you can barely hear uh but you know there's nothing on tv uh i'm 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 looking at tv and the world is is a fucked up place right now you got pruitt resigned uh you got uh, maxine waters is mad at uh pelosi and schumer i mean you know the world is uh the world is not what we knew it to be well, it it's not very civil, okay. No. Uh, and, and politics used to have a certain sense of civility, believe it or not. I mean, maybe not locally, but nationally, there was always a certain you know civility. 
and now there yeah. isn't. I mean, and I got to tell you, your guy is the person who set the set the bar. You know. Uh, no, Maxine Waters uh, set. No, the she bar. didn't set the uh, bar. You know what she said? She said she is tired uh, of having death threats. You know, she keeps getting death threats from people. And she said, I hope you kill me and you miss. Party. Huh? She says, I hope you try to kill me and, and, and you simply wound me because there's nothing worse than a wounded animal. You know? Yes, uh, 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 y yes, Brian. Can you hear me? We can't hear you. Can't hear you. Are you are, is, your, is, your, is your microphone on? Go into your settings and, and uh, test it out. See see if they're uh, go into uh, what are you using? A PC? You're using a phone? Oh well, there's there's your problem. You know. Yeah, check the mute. Yeah, check the check the mute. And I don't know with phones, it's so hard to run Skype on a phone. Uh, you know, it's impossible now. I tried to download it because I didn't have it on this phone. Yeah. You know, I, I have it on the on the iPad. I have it at home. Uh, there was no reason to have it on the phone. So I, I tried to download it before the show. I go to the App Store, and it says, uh, what is your Microsoft account? I, I don't have a Microsoft account. Uh, so it wouldn't let me sign in uh, and, and download the app and sign in. It, it f was forcing me to create a Microsoft account. And I said, you know, I got enough accounts, no more accounts, because uh, on account of that, uh, I called on the phone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, Skype is, um, you could, don't you have a Skype sign-in name? Yes, I do. And but you... it, I couldn't download the application to the phone without creating a Microsoft account. Oh, God. It, it, it wouldn't, it, there was no place to install the app. Yeah. Yeah, uh, or to sign in uh, without. Uh, it's all getting. Ve it's that. also. It's all getting very confusing lately. Uh, yeah. I I use GoDaddy right, and I have this like uh, my my email account, and it's, yeah. you know Alex at Gabnet dot net. It's great. It's wonderful. I pay about a hundred and fifty bucks a year for it, but that's all right. You know, it it, it serves its purpose. So I get a call from yeah. well we want we're, we want to retire that kind of system, and uh, what you have to do is we'll go over to our newer system. They tried to upsell me is what they tried to do. Yeah, and, and I said, uh, but I don't want it. And they went, but the old one's getting old and it's going to be old fashioned, and we're not going to support it like we support the new. I said, I'm paying you 150 bucks a month. You better fucking, you know, support me. Uh, and I'm tired of all of a sudden GoDaddy. I get a call once every two weeks from them trying to upsell me to something else, you know. Yeah. And they never did that well, in the past. And I've been with them for years now, you know. No, I used to I used to use GoDaddy, and I switched to Squarespace. Mm -hmm. Although, uh, uh, and uh, they'll also host uh, my um, uh, website. Mm -hmm. But at work, I use Rackspace. For the uh, for the uh, emails, yeah, yeah, it's a it's an email hosting service, and I can get it anywhere from any place. I'm in control of a number of different email addresses. Ten bucks a month. Do you and, uh, know, and for five really for five uh, uh, emails? You know, I yeah. would I would switch over to uh, another email place. I'd go to leave GoDaddy, but I'd have to like change everything. You know, My, no, you don't. You use the your your email you you use your uh, server thing. By know, the way, nobody like else is nobody else is calling tonight. You know, Brian yeah. Brian's having trouble. He can't get on, so you know. Um, well, they may not be calling because uh, you know you've been uh, uh, absent for a few days. Well, yeah, and uh, you know, you know it takes a little bit of time. Yeah, for the masses to figure that out. Here comes Brian but, Brian Brian, a, Brian I have again. A question. But here's Brian now again. I now I can hear you, Brian. Now I can. Yeah. This time. Yeah. Uh, uh, I got to tell you something though. Um, I. You got uh, some slapback. A little bit of slapback. Yeah. Well, I don't yeah. hear. It. I don't hear it. I'm not getting it here. So. Oh. As long as I'm not getting it, then it's you know screw you. Uh, 
<laughs> no, I'm on a phone. It's hard to stop. I'll tell that. you. I'll tell you the ripoffs that go on in this business. Uh, I we have uh, we have a server here. You know that serves the signal to the to the server that does the audio, sends the audio out to the rest right. of the world. And everybody who does a show signs on to that to get onto the machine to deposit their programs and to place them on a playlist and do things like that. And we use a thing called yeah. Log Me In. When I first got yeah. Log Me In, like maybe three years ago, four years ago, it was free. It no, it was a hundred and twenty-five bucks a year. I forget that. Okay, that's when I first got Log Me In, it was free. Really. Well, yeah. then, then the next, as one year led into the next, the price kept going up and up and up. And I went over to log me in tonight to see what on my renewal, which is next month, the price would go to. It had been, had yeah. gone up to $250, and they were going to have the gall to take it up to 360 Wow. And I started uh, looking around. And I found the thing called Remote PC that works yeah. exactly like Log Me In. In fact, it's even easier to use. Okay? Wow. Uh, and guess how much it's going to cost me a year for the first year? 99 bucks, I bet. Try 695. <laughs> and <laughs> and then great. next year, next year after this initial. 695 we love you please come see us and play with us it goes up to 6995 yeah. so i can live with that over fat. over 350 dollars from those rip off artists at that at, uh, at the log me in so we're going yeah, over you sign off and sign back on next year under a different account to only continue paying the six dollars i guess, I guess you to do that so. but you know i think they're providing a price that is so decent okay yeah. So decent that I uh, that that I wouldn't mind just paying them the sixty nine ninety five, you know. Because if you figure I got a second year, cut that in half, you know, the sixty nine ninety five, six hundred and ninety five, six sixty nine dollars and ninety five cents. Uh, wait a minute, we got it says here Phil is calling. He's calling back. Guess yeah, what? I don't know what happened. Uh, you know, it's, the phone's just laying on the pillow. Yeah, it's plugged into the wall. Right. But uh, it, it just cut out. Now here, here is uh, here is Jack Bishop, who is going to be totally technically challenged at using this new system, even though it's just like the old one. Didn't I use it the other night? <laughs> no, 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 no. This is another system. I just sent you a new email on it. For for instead of using Log Me In, we're going to start using this. And I'm. Well, didn't we do something last week with a new system? No, that's for that's for the encoder. Uh, I'm on the phone. That's for the radio. Great. Yeah. Hey, I, I had I was not calling about that. I was so glad. Did you get my email? Did you get my email? Yeah, yeah, I, I read it, but I, you know, just sat down in the uh, in front of the computer just here moments ago. It, it's very simple. Okay, it's just uh, like the other one. It's really just like the other one. In fact, it's simpler to sign on. All right, very good. Yeah, but I just heard Phil, and I just wanted to say, hey, I'm I'm glad to see that you went through that, and. Uh, you know, uh, I am pleased for you, and uh, it shows you the amount. Turn, of turn your microphone down a little bit, will you? It's up to it's a little wait. hot. Yeah, pretty yeah. hot. Pretty hot. It it just it just goes to show you the amount of progress we've made just in the eight years since. You know, your it has your audio hasn't gone down. It's still over modulating. Oh, T turn it down a lot. Turn me down or turn Phil turn down? you down. I'm down. No, you're not. I, I'm gone. No, you're. I'm completely gone. No, you aren't. Well, here. You, you, no, now you. Uh, he sounds good to me. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, so uh, it, yeah, we're happy. I'm happy. Phil's still alive. Yeah. You know yeah. Uh, the fact that he was 100 percent clogged, and did you say you were clogged in a vein or in an artery? Uh. I think it must have been the artery. That's what they went through. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and it was the it's it was the right right front mm -hmm. heart artery. Yeah. Well, they're all in the heart uh, when they're working on your heart. But uh, I was seventy percent clogged, and uh, in all four, and they would not do stents. And that's just in 
you know, uh, almost not quite nine years that uh, we've gotten to a point where uh, they say, hey, we can do stents for somebody that's 100% cloth. But you didn't have Kaiser. You didn't have Kaiser. Yeah, with, with, yeah you see, you got the good stuff. At Kaiser, they just stick a, a, a straw. They, they go to McDonald's. They, they no, they go down. No, what they, what they do is they go down to Staples and they get some paper clips. Yeah, no, paper, paper clips will work too. Yeah. <laughs> no, no uh, uh, they initially told me that they were going to do. Um, they were initially going to do wow. stents. And then they got in there, and uh, after being in me for about four hours, they said, no, we're going to have to uh, do bypasses. I don't yeah, know. Well, I, don't, um, I, I, I don't know. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. I don't know why you're over-modulating, Jack, but you're, 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 you haven't turned your pot down at all. Well, I, my, uh, let me try this. Is that any better? Yes, it's a little better, yeah. It is. He right. keeps smoking his pot instead of turning it down. Yeah, right. Hello, Renee. Why would you turn down pot? Why don't you just accept that? <laughs> He's not stupid, Phil. <laughs> Hello, Miss Collins. Hey, how you doing, Brian? It was great to see your face. And try and turn your, and if you can, turn your microphone up a little bit. You're a little low. Okay, I'm going to actually put my headphones in. So. Today, Renee and Jack are the only two people I can see video-wise. Uh, Phil and Alex, I can't. I can only hear, but not see. You can't well, see Phil's me. On the phone. I'm so think I'm still down. there. So oh, oh, I so see my my camera isn't on. There we go. Now my camera's on. Can you see there. me now? I can see you now. Yeah. Yep. Because see, I don't pay attention to that camera. I pay attention to the camera I use. It goes out on the air, and so I sometimes I don't see that that one's turned off for some reason. But uh, understood. Now, now your audio is down so low it's ridiculous. Yeah. See, all, right, all right. How about now? Now you People's sound great. All right. I just yeah. have to say though. I had I to turn me up. You know. Yeah. Hello, I'm Kevin. Not... Kevin's joined us too. I'm t saying that for Phil's benefit, who is does not have video. What are you What are you or doing, Renee? Y'all see the lines on my forehead? They're supposed to be gone. I call them Trump lines, and I had them Botox. <laughs> and there. All the Trump lines are still there. I'm gonna have to go uh, back and uh, Botox upgrade. Yes, uh, yes, uh, yes, uh, um, um, Brian. Yeah, because I have to pretty much wake up at the ass crack of dawn tomorrow for work. I don't think I'm going to be able to to, to participate in your show, Jack. After this. But I, but I wanted to get this. Uh, I wanted to get this off my chest right now. Um, I heard on, la on what Tuesday's podcast, Amy gaslighting people like myself into saying that, uh, and and saying that uh, you know if you don't vote uh, establishment, then um, you're going to damn us all. And I'm thinking, and I was sitting there thinking in my car, well, haven't you been doing that for the last? Oh, I don't know. At least twenty-five years, if not much longer, with your savage incrementalism and your uh, and your willingness to compromise. With the well, right. you know, it's interesting that you bring that up because it has nothing to do with Jack's show or uh, my show. Yeah, you know, look, look, everybody. And she's not here to defend herself either. Yeah, everybody's entitled to an opinion, whether it's right or wrong. You're entitled to an opinion. I uh, have a, she's entitled to hers. I, I, just, I disagree with that, Jack. Was Hitler entitled to his opinion? No, fuck no. <laughs> well, all, right, you got a, you, all right, you got a point there, pal. <laughs> but you, I agree more with you, Brian, about what you're saying than I do with Amy. However, there are some people that winning is more important than advancing the issues. Mm, good and point. she falls into that category, which is, top, which is a... Uh, a uh, position that a lot of folks who delve mm. in politics have. That's one of the reasons. Jack, I, Jack, yeah. I think that she realizes that if she doesn't win first, she won't be able to represent those issues that you she's know. that she's talking about. 
well, you know, that's... you can cut off your nose and spite your face, but, yeah, but it that's... isn't going to help you breathe. That's never stopped your party from sticking to its positions, waiting oh, until it has oh. a chance to stab it. My... No, you're you're just you're just chewing on what the media says. Um, the Republican I, Party I, is so I disjointed. The only thing is, in comparison to the Republican Party, the Democratic Party uh, is is you know is really messed up and uh, at a disarray. All but right, the Republican the, Party is just as bad. All right. The real difference between your party and the Democrats, and I repeat for everybody to hear that. I am not a Democrat. I'm way to the left of the Democrats. I think most Democratic Party officials are pussies, and that gives pussies a bad name. Well, I mean, I always stated, and it's probably, probably, it's, 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 probably the reason, it's, it's, it's probably the reason I'm no longer on, on serious left uh, was that I always said I basically hate liberals. Yeah. You know, I think they're, too, they're pussies, you know. Uh, it, it's like uh, Phil Oakes said, you know, they're 10 degrees to the right, uh, the left in good times, and 10 degrees to the right when it affects them personally. You know, well, so you can't trust a liberal. You can trust a lefty, but you can't trust a liberal. Yeah, yeah. Or I thought the, they became. Jim. What? Phil, I, I thought I thought they became Republicans after they were mugged. <laughs> oh, no, okay. I don't think so, because I've been, course, I've had crime perpetrated against me and it didn't change my feelings at all you know of course jimmy Dore would say they would rather lose to a re they would rather uh lose to a republican than win with the progressive mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. i shut the door but on that if you would have said it in 2016 i would have said no 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 hey you, no, use your headset microphone will you renee if you can because it'll it, it, the the one in your in your uh, in your system is kind of relying too much on pull sucking out sound and everything. Uh, hello, Kevin. How you doing, Alex? Yeah. How did you enjoy? Huh? It, 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 Phil is here. One of his arteries doesn't have a hundred percent blockage anymore. Did they say they cleared the blockage completely? Uh, well, they showed me photos of uh, pr uh, before the stent and after the stent, and you could see the blockage, and then you could see the open arteries after the stent was inserted. Are you uh, calling us the, from the hospital, by any chance? Yes, he's calling from the hospital. Yeah, well, I'm, oh, wow. I'm laying in the Shit. hospital bed. Dedic talk about yeah. a dedicated motherfucker, I'll give you that much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Respect to you, man. Well, there was nothing on TV. Yeah. <laughs> There isn't anything on TV. We we can agree on that. It sucks. TV mostly sucks, unless you're watching yeah. it on demand and certain select shows. Yeah, I watched. Well, a, uh, there was. Go ahead. I watched a great show on Netflix the other day called um, "The Last Laugh," and it's really it's about. Uh, uh, <sighs> When are jokes in bad taste and not in bad taste? And this was in regards to the Holocaust and to the Jews and to the Nazis. And Mel Brooks said that, you know, I said, I drew the line at making jokes about the Holocaust. He said, you can't make jokes about the Holocaust, but you can make jokes about Nazis. Because what you're doing by making jokes about them and making them buffoons and making them idiots is you disempower them. You know, he said, but well, but you don't you don't you don't make jokes about the Holocaust. But I and I told this joke um, to to uh, Bubs on one of our interviews today, so I don't know whether it ran or not. But Gilbert Gottfried tells this joke in tandem with Rob Reiner, and the joke is that two Jews uh, are out to assassinate Hitler, so they wait in front of his apartment, and there it's noon, and 12:30 comes, no Hitler. One o'clock comes, still no Hitler. One thirty comes, no Hitler. Two o'clock, still no Hitler. And they heard Hitler was going to be there. And finally, one Jew looks at the other and says, "Do you think he's okay?" <laughs> Jeez. You, you know, Alex. Yeah. Still here. I um, uh, I took your advice, and uh, yesterday I actually binge watched uh, twenty-two or twenty short episodes 
of a show called Between Two Ferns. Yes. And I got to tell you, that was hilarious. It is. It uh, weird, ab- is weirdly hilarious. Yeah. That's, yeah. I, you know, it's it's hard. It's just one of those guy things. Well, I don't I know. Mean, I watched, I tried uh, a long I watched the ago. one with Seinfeld, and it was very funny. You He's know. been doing well, this the show one with for Obama. quite some time. Yeah. There was one with Obama, one with Hillary Clinton. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, you know, uh, a, a number of other actors. I, he is so he was so irreverent. I mean, you knew you knew this was the deal, uh, but well, uh, they know what they're getting. It was, it was hilarious. Yeah. They know what they're getting coming in. You know, right? So, um, uh, and, and there was one where uh, I don't know if it was James Woods or it was some actor. It might have been Rob Lowe. They started slapping one another. Uh, it, it was uh, it was hilarious. Yeah. Absolutely. Hilarious. I haven't watched hilarious. all of them, but the ones I've seen, I, I, I think pretty good. I mean, I I, I enjoyed them. Um, well, but anyway, the Obama, anyway, this Hillary. documentary, this documentary called "The Last Laugh" on Netflix is fascinating because they even show that in the concentration camps they put on theater, they put on musicals. Well, they had yeah. children in there too. So yeah, they they uh, they, they, they they entertain. Uh, uh, their own in the concentration camps. Um, it was uh, a, a great no, story. A great story this woman told is that she was, okay. they said, the doctor is coming to see you. And the doctor comes in and it's Mengele. <laughs> right? And uh, yeah. she said it was Mengele and he, he was feeling her, 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 her uh, shoulders and said, ah, oh, you're, you're losing weight. Uh, that's uh, you sh- that's not good. We should put a little more weight on you. He said. Uh, by the way, he says. Let me just say before I leave. If you survive this thing, if you survive this thing, get your tonsils removed. They're very large. Mm. <laughs> now imagine. She said. E- years later, I I remember this and I started laughing at it. This was Mengele. And the best he could come up with was, if you get through this thing, get your tonsils removed. They're extraordinarily large. Well, the thing that's true with all oppressed people, the, the way we get through this stuff is by humor. Oh, and music. Yeah. And know. music. Uh, yes. You know, I mean, I asked Jack when he was here, I said, did you ever laugh at the, in the concentration camps? And he said, yes, a lot. You know, we had... Jokes we told each other, the songs we would sing. So it wasn't. And the police do it, that. They call it church. And you know, after after a shift where you've had something that's really gone down that was awful, mm-hmm. uh, you'd gather up, have a few beers, and and tell jokes. You know, and mostly graveyard humor. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, uh, it. But it's a great documentary, and it deals with what's bad taste and what isn't bad taste. And uh, um, do they touch on the psychiatry, psycholo- psychological aspect of all of this at all? Not really. I mean, it, it's more it's a bunch of comedians kind of defending the practice of, 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 of humor that's in bad taste and why you do it and what's, why you don't do it. I mean, Brooks saying, hey, you know, I draw the line at making jokes about the Holocaust. He said, I used to do Hitler all the time by putting a comb up to my face. And, 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 and doing Hitler, he said, but I never used a swastika. That wasn't until I did the producers that I used the swastika. <laughs> you know, he said, but even in, in, the, uh, in the producers, we're making fun of Nazis. There, is no, there are no jokes at the expense of the Holocaust. It's never brought up in the producers. Yes, uh, ke- uh, uh, oh man, my mind is... Brian, Brian, Brian. Brian. <laughs> Yeah, I just wanted to know, other than the diary of Anne Frank and these uh, that joke you uh, recalled uh, having been told to you, uh, are there like any other are those stories, those plays that were performed while they were in those concentration camps? Were there any other uh, like plays and stories that were published and you know broadcast? I don't know, but they had films that the Nazis had made of these what they called. The cabarets, they called them. And they actually had musicians, full-size orchestras, playing. Uh, and Wait, people at concentration camps? In concentration camps, yeah. They had, a, they had like orchestras. Or something. They, had, they had an orchestra. A lot of times, 
it was the uh, the, uh, the uh, concentration camp uh, people, uh, you know, the uh, the prisoners that were yeah, the oh, yeah. musicians, and that's what kept many of them alive. Well, but no, but there was another uh, there was another reason why they these films exist is because the the Nazis the the Hitler people. Uh, went out and filmed these things so they could show everybody how everybody was having a good time in the concentration camps. You know. well, that, was, that yeah. was one of the things that the Red Cross was shown in many instances to say it's not as bad as you people hear it is. Yeah. Wait, well, look, they're living. Isn't that exactly what Trump just said about the people we are keeping in cages? Just yeah. like they said in Jones. I mean. It's a cage. Well, really? I have this to say this, and fast. Phil, of course, is going to hate this, but in this, uh, I saw another documentary this weekend called Television Under the Swastika. Now, most people don't know that Germany had television <laughs> before we did, and they did television shows. This was before the war. The war actually brought it to a halt, and they would, they would, for the most part, film the shows because the electronic cameras weren't sufficient to do really good broadcasting. And so they I had all... I thought the TV was invented by Farnsworth. And, no, uh, the, the, yeah, Farnsworth invented it, but I'm saying we didn't develop it in this country. We developed it in 1939 in this country, and then the war broke out, and so all uh, uh, progress on television stopped till right after the war. But Hitler had this yeah. going in 1936, and the thing is, they show Hitler in more off-guarded moments because when they filmed, rather than the way you normally film, you hit here and then you're going to cut to this and then you're going to cut to that, they were simply covering, it was coverage of what was going on. Um, and uh, you, you see Hitler giving speeches about the Jews and how they are... Uh, hurting the economy of the German people and all that, and all I could That's think of point. was, I'm watching fucking Donald Trump, what? because this is the method. This is the Hitler speaking English. Uh, no, Did he ever speak a word of English. Well, you know, at least I, I don't think so. There's a very but interesting. So. There's a very no. interesting film that I saw, in which they took Hitler. You know, uh, pictures of him at Birch's Garten walking around talking to people, and of course they were all silent, right? Uh. Yeah. Uh, they got a bunch of lip readers together to figure out what he was saying. And it was, it was interesting because it wasn't things like, and we're going to take Poland and we're going to do this. No, he's saying, so did you see that movie last night that we ran? You know? I mean, it was that kind of conversation. But uh, but uh, it, but Yemen, it just the, when I heard a Hitler talking, when I, when I heard Hitler... What? When I saw Hitler talking about the Jews and how they were hurting the German economy and how Germany was going to be brought to its knees by the Jewish population, all I could think of was, you know, immigrants. Uh, it's the same thing. So you mean like the Jews are equal to MS-13 and I Phil, 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 MS-13. How many members of MS-13... In uh, out of the, I think we had ten thousand people try and cross the border, right? Did they say it was six? I, it was fifteen. <laughs> fifteen people from MS, whatever it's called. Uh, and well, that was, they, they can't even count. No, no. They what I'm what, what I'm saying. They call it MS what I'm saying is they use them as the excuse. For the for for the for for the genocide, you know. Oh, hey, you know, all these people, the MS-15 or whatever it is, going to come in and kill people, and we got to stop that. There were only 15 of them out of like 10,000 that tried to get in this country last year. No, there was 15 maybe that they found. No, 15, but 15. No, well, how uh, far are they, Phil? What are they doing? They're in Long Island. They're in Long Island. No, the, the, doing, uh, what? Yeah, doing what? They're doing their gang stuff. Well, they, they, yeah, uh, but, 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 stuff. but that but, is American enterprise. Whenever you have gangs, <laughs> that's American <laughs> enterprise. You got the banker gangs, you got the lawyer <laughs> gangs, you got the well, class gangs. The banker gangs. And then you got the winning. Then, then you got the stab you in the eye gang. And, and then you got the Crips and the Bloods, otherwise known as the DNC and the RNC. Hey, hey. <laughs> let me ring the bell. where's my bell? Somebody stole my damn bell. 
No, the that's just okay. that's, that's right. right. It's all gangs. It's hey, all hey Ryan, gangs. I just four days off. My bell's been stolen. <laughs> hey, there, there's no sound effects on the ramble. Yeah, we hey, don't Ryan, watch sound effects on the ramble. I disagree with you. Hitler might have been a human, but he doesn't deserve to be called a human. Well, I was just saying, I don't know if you heard the part where I said a very sick human being, but a human being regardless. Yeah, I heard. It's just like, I don't know. You're giving him way too much credit. Well, I um, often, you know, I often wondered about Hitler that there, there is the there is there the what we, what we what we what we realize is Hitler is the mythic Hitler. I mean, it's the Hitler that mm. we have been left with as an impression. Uh, however, I'd like to know what he was really like. I want to know, did, was he in control or was somebody controlling him? You know, you like the DNC? DNC? Uh, because I or find it so difficult. I, I find it so difficult to conceive of anybody being that evil that I find it hard to believe that human being ever existed. And, and now I'm beginning to realize how they come to pass because I'm, because I'm seeing Trump and I see how that kind of thing comes to pass. And maybe you know, it's because I, it's... I don't know. I'm seeing, you know, he wrote the book Mein Kampf. He wrote it, what, it, while he was in prison? No, 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 uh, no, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. He didn't write, uh, Donald Trump did not write Mein Kampf. Hitler did. Hitler, right. Oh. I was talking about oh, okay. Hitler writing Mein Kampf, and that pretty much outlined his uh, his um, uh, plan. And uh, so if you wonder, you know, did he come up with the plan or did somebody else do it? I, I would imagine that he came up with it uh, because it's, it's documented I, prior to... Yeah, but I, I, don't know, I don't know that that wasn't fed to him. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we, I, I don't... I don't I can't conceive, to begin with, I find it very difficult to believe that a man that goofy looking could ever take over a nation. Oh, look, Hang on a second. look how you way Why lay, is it waved that you're your in hand. denial about this? Huh? Why are you in denial about I'm not about in denial this? about it. What I'm saying is, is that what he managed to do was so horrific, I can't figure out how he pulled it off. I mean, Did to begin like with, he was a silly looking man. He was not give, the kind you give of, the citizens too much credit. Yes. Well, well look, you know when World War One ended, we put some of the most the Allies put some of the most draconian measures against Germany ever in the history of the body politic of the world. Right. And it affected its citizens. Well, it, but, yeah, but, you know, and, but, but, and, let's just remind people what you're talking about is the fact that they were there were repatriations from the war that they had to pay off that were so stiff and heavy it brought the economy of Germany to its knees. And when you do that, yeah, they people, still came up with the TV before us. <laughs> it's just kind of interesting. When you do that to people, they want to blame somebody. Mm -hmm. they pick the Whatever evil. happened. To the spoils goes the victor. Uh, to the victor goes the spoils. Tell that to I the. I don't elite. even know that's true anymore. Well, as long as the leaders the start the wars or uh, fighting each other, and just Renee, the themselves, Renee, Renee said it best. Well, how do we? How do we know what's true anymore? You know. Um, oh, you mean fake news? No, well, no, the forget it. Mean, so did we? This Phil, so you have to go all back to the Bush administration. And I bet you people that are older than me are going to have to say you have to go back to the uh, Vietnam era when exactly. they were giving out incorrect information almost all of the time. And it was really difficult to get verification. And it just kept going downhill from Vietnam. Y yes, Jack. Uh, well, actually, that's been going on in this country since the inception of this country. We have lied to well, ourselves, and we have lied to others that would listen to us. Hey, uh, Phil here, you know your your leader died today, uh, Ed Schultz. My leader? Uh, what? 64. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Ed Heart Schultz. Heart attack? So, I mean, does that make Sean Hannity uh, your leader than Phil? No, natural cause. What, what, what do you mean? What do you mean, my? What do you mean, my leader? To begin with, when I heard that Schultz Ed Schultz, was, today? when I heard that Ed Schultz, yeah, wait, yeah, when I heard that, that, what do you mean by my leader? When I heard that Ed Schultz well, died today, I my first thought was good. Uh, no, well, no. you know, 
What? You're, you're starting to sympathize with Hitler. I figured you might like somebody like Ed Schultz. 64, but uh, I believe his show is... Uh, they're looking for a uh, uh, for a uh, commentator at RT. Yeah, at RT. Do you know? Do you know what what Ed Schultz? Uh, Ed Schultz was always a whore. He was always a fucking whore. All right. He started out on radio as a conservative. Then when he saw no, that he, he started he started out as a sports. Well, guy. he started a sports guy, but he started out doing talk shows as a conservative. And then all of a sudden, he changed his tune and became a left winger. And then he went over and finally made his bones and got his way to MSNBC, where he lasted for six years, except for that time when they threw him off the air for about three months because he had said something yeah. on his radio show, and I felt I had to defend him, even though I felt he was the biggest prick I've ever met. Um, yeah. And uh, then he went over to RT, which is Russian television, and yeah. became a defender of Vladimir Putin. And, and oh, said like that, that Vladimir yeah. Putin didn't rig the election in the United States. He completely, to keep his, to make money at RT, he bit the bullet, you know, and again, whored himself out. So he's dead? Fuck him. So, yeah, that's what was for, 64. Can't wait for George Bush to go. Do you yeah. know something? Overall, when I look at George Bush, I don't dislike him. He's just a pathetic kind of stupid guy no see you know what it's this is because trump lowered the bar now you're feeling sorry for the jackass who had lowered the bar before him which had allowed him to get us to trump well first Remember of all all of the shitty things that george bush did renee renee i think you're giving oh, senior and junior george, i think you're giving yes, george w yeah. bush way more credit than it deserves you know he was a sock puppet for cheney Oh, no, time. he was a globalist like yeah, the rest of them. Frank, the senior, though, weren't hey, you? Hey, hey, look, I know people that know George W. Bush real well and who were in business with George W. Bush before he got into Texas politics. And they said he was a guy, as we say down here, couldn't pour piss out of a boot, and he was all hat and no cattle. Ooh. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> oh, no cattle. I never heard that one. That's a good That's one. Texas. Well, you've been away from here long enough, Alex. Well, all hat and no cattle. I, that one's a good one. I like yeah. that one. I have to admit. <laughs> you know, that you know, don't very much had... south, but they have some wonderful expressions. They have some very literal and visual expressions. I give them that, that. alleged ranch. <laughs> his was started out as a chicken farm. They had to bus in. They had to bus in hay for folks to sit around on so they could have those photo ops. The but, Sensei Fox said he was no cowboy because the man was, was afraid of horses. By the way, by the this, yeah, What? I'm sorry. Yeah. No. And think about this for a minute. He's no Texan. He's from Yeah, he's not. Maine. As and much he, as I wanted this Texas for this, I can't. God damn it. And, and he, he is the <laughs> only member of the Bushes that even puts on a Texas accent. Uh, by the way, Tyson Acosta who wrote just wrote on the uh, chat room, which is almost em is empty tonight. Nobody's there. Okay. You've got a chat room? Yeah, well, it's on the, it's on the video. It's Skype. alongside the video. It's not Skype. Oh. It's... Uh, oh, uh, I'm sorry. YouTube. Yeah. YouTube. Uh, and he says, uh, Dennis Miller was a liberal, and after 9-11, that piece yep. of shit turned out to be a right winger. I got news for you. Dennis Miller was never a liberal. Well, no. Dennis Miller uh, was always a piece of shit. My friend, just changed my, my, my old friend, uh, <laughs> David Feldman, wrote for Dennis Miller and got to know Dennis pretty well and said the guy was never a liberal, and he never considered himself a liberal. Really? In yeah. In deference to those of us that do this crap, either for fun or sports, uh, I was reminded about what a piece of shit we can be tonight when I was watching a rerun of an old TV show called The Breed that had uh, um, uh, David Hartman as a cowboy. Well, you watch some old fucking shit. Oh, man. Well, I'm a, well, unlike you, I admit I'm an old fucking guy. Yeah, but I don't. Well, I never could stand that stuff when it was on in the first place. 
like it was the only thing on tonight. I I watched. I watched. Uh, we, we got a uh, channel that runs uh, Cheyenne and did this and the that yeah, yeah, and the yeah, big yeah. You know, the big farm or the big uh, ranch or whatever. Did, I don't know with Barbara right, Stanwyck. Right, right, and I, I can't Lucas I can't watch class. I can't watch that I, shit. I watched. Hey, Lewis uh, Jack. Last night at Jack. I was nearly as psychotic as I thought I was. So tonight I watched. For, yeah. Uh, how about that birth of a nation? Was isn't that a great one? Have you seen it yet? Which one? The, uh, the original? original. There was a new <laughs> one. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but there's assuming, a new, yeah. yeah. Assuming Nathan it, Bedford Forrest. It was the best film ever made about the uh, about the about the Ku Klux Klan. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Yeah. And and what about that Ben Hur? You know, that's another good one. Uh, you don't miss it. Yeah, but that usually only comes on near Easter for some strange, strange ass reason. Well, I finally got around to, I, I no. finally got around to seeing uh, all of Gone with the Wind, and I prefer the uh, the book that was the sequel to Gone with the Wind, or, or an alternative take on Gone with the Wind, called The Wind Done Gone, which was written by a Yeah, you know, I haven't read yeah. that. Hey, look who's joined yet. us. Look who's joined us. Hasn't been here in a long time. John hey. Rockwell. There he is. Hello. Hello, My hello, hello, New Yorker. Well, hey. I got the, uh, I got the, uh, the, the email from Alex saying, "Where the hell have you been?" Yeah, I, I okay. began to worry <laughs> about I better, you. I better show up and say hello. Because I'm we, hanging in there. Because we go back you know. a long way, and you know. Yeah, I haven't died yet. I'm doing good. Uh, every time I turn around, another person <laughs> is dying, and pretty soon, uh, I have no friends now. But I'm really not going to have any friends. I mean, Phil, you got to you, you, know you got to stick around, I heard you Phil. Talking to Larry, you sounded so sad when you were talking about how you're at the gym and nobody calls you. And <laughs> no, I have this. I have this phone which I paid eleven hundred dollars for. This uh, iPhone mm -hmm. X, right? And I never get any calls. Nobody calls me. They text me. Eleven hundred dollar phone, Bennett. Albert, you know what that is? AT and T is having a sale. And right. you know I have a is? flip phone that doesn't work on the internet, so you know, don't well, talk well, about it. Well, the sale was you could buy an iPad for a hundred dollars. That was the sale. Hundred dollar phone is God's way of telling you this that is, you're. This isn't, isn't a, this isn't a hundred. This isn't a hundred dollar phone. This is an eleven hundred dollar phone, and it's it, an eleven hundred. It knows phone. my face. See. Ooh. Do you have to make that face, or can you get a? No, name? actually, um, uh, I've been almost a in a, a darkened I, room. Gonna laugh? Here's how stupid if you I smile am. Smile widely in the lens. Here's how stupid they, I am. Crack. I, I, I turned. I went into a darkened room, and I said, "I wonder if it'll if it'll notice me." And so I look at it, of course, and the screen lights and up, <laughs> and it and it and it opens up. It recognizes me, and I'm going, "How does it do it in a dark room?" And all of a sudden, I realize, "Well, of course, the screen's on, dummy." Did you notice? Huh? Did you notice light already coming there? So wait, 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 yes, Phil. What? Uh, on the iPhone 10, when you use the Face ID, there's a little icon, yeah. and uh, it looks like it's sticking its tongue out at you when uh, when it recognizes you. <laughs> yeah, but it doesn't. It doesn't have show up all the time. Sometimes it just it just works, you know. But I yeah. I, I love the phone. Girlfriend, it doesn't like it. Uh, she, be, I, I don't like what. It, it, do you, it looks like you have. Do you have one there? Uh, is that is that an iPhone 10 or X or is that mm -hmm. what? Yeah, yeah. You like okay, it? So, yeah, my, my so here's the deal, everybody. They're upgrading. So Apple didn't make the announcement earlier this year. They made it all for software. So I've been seeing as since Alex said it. I've been seeing it. There is a ton of let's get rid of the iPhone 10s. Because something else is coming up. So in the next Apple announcement, which is going to be what in less than sixty days, mm -hmm. they're gonna they're supposed to be coming out with other iPhone options like the SE again is coming out. So, right. So right. we've heard. I don't know if it's yeah. true. Yeah. Uh, or they the iPhone ten was supposed to be a special issue by Apple to celebrate the tenth year of the iPhone. That's that's what it was all. Uh, all I don't about, think it's called it's, uh, Phil. I don't think it's called the iPhone 10. I think they actually called the iPhone X. Uh, well, X is the iPhone. Not fancy, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, right. I happen to so, think it's the best phone. I happen to think it's the best phone they ever made. You know. So for two th and number two, two things. One is first, Apple has 
amazing techno phone technical support. So you've got to give it up for that. And number two is when I left the Bay Area, AT&T was so expensive that there I had to switch to Comcast. And I heard you talking to Larry. Don't send him towards AT&T. He needs to get the Comcast quote. Well, well the, the reason that I was sending him towards AT&T is because the iPad I have may only work on an AT&T. No, that's not true. Uh, my uh, iPhone 5. S that I gave to Faye yeah. uh, originally, uh, it, I, I was able to, I wasn't able to switch that over to, to Verizon, but I was able to switch over the iPhone 6S Plus that I had uh, to Verizon, and that's why I What do they the do? They change, the, they change the SIM card? They change the SIM card, but what I had to do is I had to go on a website at AT&T and ask them to release or unlock the uh, the success, the and they owner. did that, and uh, it was free. It takes uh, like a day or two, mm -hmm. uh, be, uh, and you just re you said there's a website for it. They unlock it, mm -hmm. and then you're able to put the new SIM card in the phone and turn oh, it on, yeah. and it works. Yes, uh, 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 Jack. Hey, I want to thank you for having Larry Bubbles Brown on, because finally. I found out there was somebody who was more of a Luddite about this stuff than I am. Oh, <laughs> he is. He is. He, 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 dialing, if, dialing, if you're, if Larry? you, if you are a Luddite, you should pray to Larry Bubbles Brown, for he is the king of the <laughs> Luddites. What did yeah. he call himself? Larry Bubbles Dialect. Larry uh, uh, Bubbles Landline. Uh, Larry Landline. Larry Landline. Uh, Larry Landline, yeah. Larry Landline Brown. Larry Landline. Yeah. Like that. I got down on my <laughs> knees and genuflected. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I have to admit, I have to admit something. As I've gotten older, my ability at uh, grabbing onto new concepts, like when I went to buy this phone, I I couldn't get certain concepts with even like the changeover, and if it was going to cost me more, it was going to cost me less or whatever, and I couldn't get these simple concepts down. Uh, and I, it's starting to bother me because when it came to technology, I usually was like, you know, king of the road. Yeah, mm -hmm. are you talking about the technology or all the crap? It's the technology and everything. Like when I've got, some, I've got something new that happens to me, and I, and I have to go to something new. Like tonight, I, I, I bought this, uh, this new um, thing to replace log me in. Uh, and I tried it, and I was afraid all the way along the line it wasn't going to work or something was going to be. Ri and as I did it, it was so fucking easy, it was ridiculous. But <laughs> but I had a fear about it, even though in the old days I wouldn't have thought twice about it. Hey, I'll, I'll get through this. But this thing is so simple that I'll bet you that if he follows my instructions to a T, that uh, our head Luddite around here, Jack Bishop, will be able to log in. <laughs> <laughs> the other thing that I'd like to suggest, you need to talk, get Larry. Remember how hard it used to be to pick your email address? Larry needs to go up to apple.com anywhere he wants and to actually, or apple.com and then find an Apple ID. Mm -hmm. He needs to pick, come up with his email addresses and he can do this online from any computer and he can check his stuff anywhere with the Apple ID. So, once he gets the Apple ID, I, which uh, Renee, needs, yeah, mm -hmm. Renee, I doubt anyone would have the name Larry Bubbles Brown at Ebby dot com. <laughs> He's got right, five at least choices. Not the bubbles part, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, well, and that's kind of the question: find. is it is it Bubbles stand up? Is it you know Larry stand up? You know what does he want his email his email ID to be? And he can do that without service right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, bubbles. You just need a computer. I wonder, well, I guess there's probably a bubbles. Yeah, and she probably <laughs> yeah. charges a lot of and, money. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And there's <laughs> going to be plenty of Larry Browns. But you know what uh, always amazed me? Uh, are you, you're Facebook friends with Larry Bubbles Brown? Uh, who who posts his Facebook stuff for him to get it up on? He uh, does. On he, the does. Thing. he does. He does. He does. But he doesn't how use. How does it. he do it? Dial up. Dial up. Oh. <laughs> Oh my God! <laughs> wow! You know where? You know when you're laughing when they put out those news reports where it says AOL still has people paying for them? That's probably Larry. 
Yeah. I still have, you know, a, I have, a, I still I have, have a, a free AOL account. <laughs> no, people are paying I, AOL. I have, oh. I have a number of customers, and when they say they're, you know, such and such at AOL.com, I always tell them that I have a problem spelling AOL. I never get it right. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, go. you know, I mean, the thing is that, 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 you know, like I have a very simple one, Alex at GabNet.net. And in fact, if mm -hmm. you wanted to go on, uh, I, you know, I, I, I can accommodate any name. Oh, like, uh, uh, what's his name has a, uh, Jack here has a, uh, yeah. uh, a, a GabNet account. Gab and I notice you're using it like crazy, too. Um, uh, good because I pay 150 bucks a year for that. So you know. <laughs> so, hey, you ever think about uh, getting a Hitler at gabnet.net? But it's just like it's, it's what Bishop yeah. at gabnet.net, right? Yeah. yeah. So I I can give out anything because I got my own uh, my own vanity email address. So right. Hey. Yeah. And anybody can get one of those if if you guys are interested in. You can and that would give you unlimited Well, yeah, email you go you, well, you go much. to somebody like a GoDaddy or somebody like that and pay them 150 bucks a year and you can have your own email address. Anything. Well, I mean, but I well, had I, I talked about Rackspace, rackspace.com. It's a uh, uh, 10 bucks a month uh, for uh, five mailboxes and uh, it doesn't tie you to any service. It's completely independent. It's yeah, but you cloud. see, the problem is, is that I'm with GoDaddy, and that's where I have my GabNet.net account. All right. Yeah. So it's associated with the email that they're running through there. I can't take that oh, GabNet.net with me. I can take it somewhere else, but I don't oh, know. Oh, you mean the hundred, the hundred and fifty dollars handles the email plus. The GoDaddy account? Well, no, it no. It also I then also pay another hundred and thirty dollars a year for the website. Mm. Oh wow! So you're so, uh, yeah, it's it's, yeah, it's, it's not, not a lot if you up. think about it. It's like thirteen bucks a month. You know, it's fifteen bucks a month. Mm. Uh, but and yeah, I yeah, boy, the, yeah. But you know, uh, isn't it called ICANN? Uh, where you register the cabinet.net well that's it's registered with ICANN, but uh, but my the site i mean i can move my site to another server to another place but right. it's just such a fucking pain in the ass to do uh, yeah. that i don't want to yeah. have to do it you know i'm well, upset you're upset why are you upset oh are you looking because you shouldn't see my lines right now well why don't you get some of that plexiderm stuff <laughs> <laughs> right. well, you, didn't, you, didn't get, you didn't get it at the Trump store. You know, uh, at the Trump store, they're having a 40% off sale. Ew, yeah, that, could you yeah, imagine Trump getting Trump. chemical treatments from Trump? <laughs> yeah. No. Oh, so these, yeah. Well, I, 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 know, I, know some, I know some Russian hookers that got some chemical treatments from Trump. <laughs> Ooh. Did, did you see the new that EPA I was guy will do it? <laughs> the yeah, EPA, EPA guy, guy had, yeah, right. resigned today. How many does that make now? How many outs? We're oh. over twenty, right? Uh, over over fifty percent of the people that were brought in a year and a half ago are not there anymore. That was wow, mentioned. That's one a of the huge things. And, and, and that's unusual. With there was Bush, Bush Junior was five percent of the Mormon convention. And there was an article on the internet last week that says uh, said something to the effect. That, a, that there are folks who are actively searching for their next job as soon as they can get out of the Trump administration. Oh, oh, you, oh I'm sure. God, yeah. Mm -hmm. They can get a show on here. You have to deal with. Yeah. Hey, what were we going to say, Phil? Hey, give the show on Gab that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There you go. They're sure. looking for another job. Well, it looks yeah. like it looks like flat out offer. it looks like Cohn is going to flip. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. he's going to flip. He went he's out. Anyway, he's thinking about. It. He went out and got a lawyer. I got a feeling he's only going to flip pancakes. You know, the, the guy. Uh, There's the guy no way that guy's got those things. balls. No, he's yeah, no Michael. Think, what is that, Michael? Put your name? put your yeah, face Michael, put your face more in the picture, Avenatti. Uh, Renee. Okay. Avenatti. Yeah, Michael Avenatti. No, Cohen is no Michael Avenatti. Not even in the same fucking ballpark. So he's going. Michael Cohen will flip. Mike, Mike, the same, like the same Michael family. Cohn's big big deal and his big boast was that he was. knew he knew how to he he could deal with the mob. Yeah, and that's he what he did for that's for, uh, what he did for Trump. 
is that he dealt with the mob. Mm-hmm. Right, you need, want him to flip big time, man. Well, yeah, he um, dealt with mob. <laughs> he he is going. He, there's no question he's going to flip. You know who he just got as his lawyer? He just got Bill, Clinton. uh, Bill Clinton's Second former lawyer. lawyer. Yeah, and uh, really some with experience. Yeah, <laughs> what? Someone with experience. Right? Yeah. What, what did you say that. about Giuliani? Who said Giuliani? I did. Phil. Who, who brought you up know, the I, name I, of I Satan? Was, I was joking. He got his. He got Giuliani as a lawyer. Yeah. 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 Well, By we we haven't heard from Giuliani well, lately. That'll do it. Yeah. We haven't heard from Giuliani. Giuliani. Did somebody know what happened? He's Skeletor and a crypt keeper. They kept. <laughs> yeah, I think Michael. I think. He got rid of him. I mean, it was, he just kept he just kept faltering and faltering and faltering and pretty pretty soon said, just t- take him off television. There's no reason that he should be on TV anymore. Yeah, you know, I don't. That's see the main reason. Really, I like watching the television says don't need that. Well, you know what's oh, yeah. interesting is we got a president who's being played for a sucker by world dictators. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. he, he he got played by as a uh, he got suckered by uh, um, oh, Kim Jong by Kim Jong Un oh, and now yeah, he's yeah. going to get suckered they're by still, they're still building you know more nukes yeah, well, yeah see, Trump's a little well, they, say they, they, very they haven't shown them not to do it so that, you know yeah. hey Tom Hale is on his way there right now well, uh, well, he, 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 no Pompeo's <laughs> on his way there oh North yeah Korea. here's Pompeo to save the day. You know. <laughs> yeah, but is he going to stop in Moscow to meet with those uh, Republican senators that are over there right now, uh, sitting down <clears throat> with Putin to get their marching what? orders? Yeah. By, the, by the way, by the way, senators. we've just been joined by John Perulis. John, you haven't been around in a while. Hey. Yeah, rough yeah. Uh, two weeks at work. Just oh. uh, totally yeah. drained, piss out of me. Okay. So, uh, anyways, I'm back been now. There. Good. We're glad to have yeah. you here. Yes, uh, John Angela. Rockwell. No, I had to. I, 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 when I first logged on just to see what you guys were doing, um, that Jack was talking about the had the line "All hat, no cattle." Uh, where yeah. I knew that from, the Bellamy Brothers song has a song you can put on YouTube, "Big Hat, No Cattle," and it's. I listened to a little of it. It's like, yeah, Alex would like this. <laughs> it's really, it's really that. That's the whole. That's the whole term, you know. You look great, but you have nothing behind you. You know, big hat, no cattle. There we go. That was a big hat. That was cool. Right. Yeah. I also have I also have my my Trump joke of the day, and it's not a really big one, but I, I actually just thought of this as I was walking down the street. There was a wine store on the corner on 74th and 1st, and they had a big, they had a big painted sign on the side that said, In vino veritas, which is famous Latin for in wine there is truth. And the first thing I thought was, Maybe that's why the Trump winery didn't work very well. <laughs> like, oops, you know. Okay, that that that's all. I, that's that that that's my that's my joke for the day. Yeah. That, that, that was a good one. That was a good one. Yeah, I wish I saved it for my show, but that's all right. Oh well, I can say it again in about another thirty minutes. <laughs> you know, yeah. Give Alex all the good material. Well, yeah, uh, just be listening to the Jack Bishop show, or as it's known, the rerun of the Ramble. Uh, <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, we'll think of some. We'll think of some new stuff. You know, I, I there are a couple other stories. In the I've news said some today. shit on his program that's quite unique, so I would have to disagree with. Absolutely. That. I well, t- thank you, son. You'll get the check. You got Amy there. Yeah, Amy is unique in her own right. <laughs> so. Yeah. Anyway. Definitely. Yeah, I'll agree. There she is. Amy, who? Anyway, uh, where was I? Uh, the. Um, exactly. uh, the other story in the news that is uh, that's kind of interesting is the poisoning in London. Another one. Uh, it, well, another one, but they think that this is as a result of the other one. That that these people saw something on the ground or whatever, like a needle or whatever, that had this Novichok. What's the name of the the poison? Like Novichok. 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 No, no, Nova bullshit. Yeah, and Novocaine. <laughs> And and uh, they uh, they they picked it up or something, and that they this is the reason why they are you know why now they're in critical condition. Well, in critical condition. I I uh, still, uh, still here. I binge watch the Americans uh, all all seasons. We can't I, hear you, man. I'm oh I I said I binge watch the Americans, and uh, you know mm-hmm. maybe these guys were 
these uh, Russian spies. And, uh, you know, they were just undercover, like that family yeah. uh, in Washington, D.C. Well, I know well, it'll be interesting to find out. You know, I mean, they, they don't seem to think there's any connection. Uh, it could also just be that whatever it was that was used to poison the first one, for some reason or other, ended up being dumped Near the well, that's one. exactly that's exactly what apart. that's exactly what they think. It's the same poison. Yeah, they're only about eight or nine miles, seven eight miles apart. Yeah, the two different towns that they're in. So and didn't they trace the, the strain back to Russia? One of the only oh yeah oh it, there's no question that Russia wasn't no. involved. No, to develop that. <laughs> nobody died. Wait, nobody wait a minute. Died. Are you going to defend Russia, Phil? Is that how low you've gone in your pursuit of sucking no. Trump's dick? Uh, no, uh, you know, what What they said in the news, and that's what I was going to say, is that it was, they didn't say it was the same strain, but they said it was the same drug. Or the Where, same Phil, form. I don't see you. Where are you? All I see is He's number in, one. Uh, well, no, Phil had, it, Phil, Phil had a heart surgery today. Oh, Christ, Phil. God yeah, damn it. Yeah. Yeah. That he has one, which many of us believe he didn't have. And he only has yeah. hours to uh, live, John. Mm. See, you didn't hear the whole story. Yeah. yeah, I didn't either. No. Unfortunately, he's know, probably going to live to vote in the next election. Let me put it that way. Well, <laughs> it they don't really have Skype in the reaction. hospital? Come on. Yeah. Uh, it would be really good no, no. He, it, he couldn't uh, figure out. He couldn't figure out at his adult-pated age how to get Skype on his phone because somehow mm -hmm. he had to supply them with uh, a Microsoft account, which I don't think, Phil, you have to do. All you have to do is sign on with whatever whatever you sign on with when you sign on to Skype. Right. Well, but if see, you want to find out the hard way, uh, put your iPhone X and go to the App Store and try to uh, get get the Skype off of your iPhone X if it's there. Well, well, uh, and well, try to well the thing is, I may, it, or, I may already have Skype on this phone. Uh, because I sign into Skype using Microsoft. Yeah. Hmm. Well, so uh, Phil, I, I Phil, was willing. Uh, you're yeah. not going to be up for Dragon House on the 21st then. Oh no no no! I'm I'm out of here tomorrow. See, I've got I've right. got uh, Skype right on my phone, because what happened was yeah. when I when I simply restored the phone that I had onto this phone, it went right over. So you should have Phil, Skype that, on your phone. That's not going to be too much excitement for you, right? Because you're going to be right next to the cage, and possibly uh, spattered by blood. I'm not kidding. I mean, what are you talking? What are you talking about? He's going uh, to a really the, wild. MMA uh, fight this uh, on the 21st. I'm going to live stream it, and Phil was going to be my assistant. So now, oh, yeah, I don't know. I, no, I'm good. I'm good. You're still good. Oh yeah. yeah. All right. Oh yeah. So we'll have a nurse. Phil, uh, yeah. some of those fighters are probably going to be MS-13. Yes, I, I'm sure they will be, and I'll get their picture and turn them over to ICE. Just, just <laughs> don't wear that fucking red hat, okay, Phil? Oh. I mean, the, you'll you'll get kicked out of it. You'll get killed. No. If you do that stupid thing, man. John, why did you say something? On? Well, it's not. We don't want him to die from a heart attack, but a gang. Revenge that we could go for. Yeah, MS-13 yeah. on top. Yeah. yeah. And well, then, as as know, Phil I, uh, as Phil's being killed by MS-13, he can yell out, "I told you I was right." Do you have a concealed? <laughs> uh, Phil, do you do you have a concealed carry permit? Yes, he does. Yes, I do. But you, you know the the interesting thing is they got these guys in cages. I don't. Uh, you know. Do you think Trump sponsored this uh, match? <laughs> yeah, probably, you know they are in cages. Yeah. Right. Yeah. What is you that? You know Ray Ray Renati's supposed to come too, but I, I don't know. He's like doing another play now. So if you're listening, oh, Ray, yeah. give me a buzz. Let me know what you want to do. No, I'm, yeah. I'm up for it. Uh, you know, I'll, okay. I'll bring the right lens. What is that in front of Renee? Uh, is that a dog? Yeah. No, it's a tribble. <laughs> Oh, it's a cat. It's a kitty. I can see that. <laughs> oh, I could. noticed it's all covered by a big ass volcanic kitty, yeah. ash. Yeah. Oh by, the, by the way, how's the That's volcano? We kitty. haven't gotten a volcano report in a long time, Renee. Oh, it's the attack of the the Avenger uh, volcano kitty. How, no, but how's the, how, how's the volcano doing? It's just freaking wild. 
I got a new lens because I'm getting ready to actually go down there and start taking photos. Wow. So, right. Yeah, it's gonna. It's pretty impressive. It's it's. There's no. There is no ends in sight. There's just not. So, which is very very cool. And they think they're going to. Which is even cooler. There's two cool things happening. One is, they think they're going to name. They think that they might name Fisher Eight as a volcano. As so its own what volcano. Is, as yeah, and wow. so that's a big deal because the top of the Kilauea volcano, which is the Hamalolo crater yeah. or whatever you want to call it, right. there, there's no there's no lava coming out of that, and only on the occasion there's an explosion of of steam coming out of it. Everything, all the rest of it has been coming out the lower, the lower ends. By the way, mm -hmm. look so who we're, look, wait a minute. we've been joined. We've been joined by Lee Presson, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, Hi. Lee. Hello there. Hey, How man. are you? I'm doing swell. Hey. How are you guys doing? Oh, if we just lost <laughs> Phil, though. He's going to have to call oh, back. Okay. Uh, uh, how are you doing, uh, Lee? I wanted to say hello to Phil. <laughs> Oh well, he'll be. I'm sure he'll be back. Uh, it, uh, his, his phone just, just probably. Just my whole day. Yeah. Well, I'm leaving then. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. Here we go. Here we go. Hey, Renee, I had the same problem. I had a lot coming up my lower end until I took some modal. Yeah, hey, Renee. Yeah. Well, it's a shield. It's a shield volcano. That is that the way they work? The, the stuff comes out of the fissures at the bottom. Oh, good. Phil's back. <laughs> okay, Phil. no, wait a minute, wait a minute. Phil, Lee Presson called just to talk to you. Hi, how you Hi. doing? Hey, Lee. Hi. What's going on? Hey, we're coming, we're coming to you from the home front of the Second Civil War. Oh, my gosh, the casualties are amazing. It's uh, <laughs> everyone named Spencer has died. And uh, <laughs> I recently had both my legs and my head amputated, but uh, our spirits remain high. Uh, and, well, then you must be over here at Kaiser. <laughs> <laughs> or as it's sure. known in the profession, doctor-assisted suicide. So, you yes. know. Yeah. Hey, Renee, I got a question, a volcano question for you. Why can't they divert the uh, Fisher 8 to go under the Pacific through the United States and come out up to the White House? Think that's possible? <laughs> Honey, if I could land Air Force One inside that volcano, I would be more than happy to put it there. Divert. I, I, I wish they could. And by the way, you can't divert lava. It's yeah, eight. didn't did Tommy Lee bad, Jones teach you nothing? Bad thing. <laughs> it ain't going where you want it to go. It's going to go where it wants to go. It goes where it goes. You can't stop it. So the other cool thing is that Fisher 8 is going to be called, they, they're trying to figure out a name for Fisher 8, which is kind of cool. But the other important thing is that that's about here and the island ends about here. Mm. A little bit offshore of our island happens to be another volcano that they've already named. Mm. And I would like to put forth the idea that if it isn't attached to this island, it is new land, therefore it is Hawaiian land and not the United States land because it is not attached to anything because it's a damn island. And I think the people. I say, I, I have a name for it, okay? Go for it. Amy Fisher. And he loves it. That's and okay. the crowd goes wild. Trump's going to buy it for the hotel. Then office. it gets the point. Oh, the pain, the pain. <laughs> yeah, yes, yes, Brian. Yes, Brian. Uh, yeah, I have a question yeah. for Renee. Uh, kind of serious, kind of not. Uh, the uh, new land that's formed off the uh, Hawaiian mainlands, uh, the Polynesian people won't really be able to inhabit that for thousands of years, won't they? <laughs> Yeah, actually, that's true. So the big news happens to be is that even though there's a volcano just off the side of the island, it's going to like, take 10,000 years for yeah. it to pop up above the water. It's kind of like saying, oh, I won the lottery. I won the $10 million lottery, but you're only paid a dollar a year for 10 million years. Right. Yeah. yeah it, it, <laughs> you know, it, so my idea was to take, so you've seen the big, huge pieces of lava flowing down the oh, river, yeah. right? And yeah. Into the ocean. Oh, yeah. yeah. And so my other idea was to actually get a whole bunch of Native people 
and get um, their spear guns and attach Hawaiian flags to it and have them shoot the Hawaiian flag onto those floating pieces of lava. So it's claimed for Hawaii. It's now Hawaii's got their land back. Mm. No, because you can't put anything in lava, they won't let me shoot flags into it. Uh, is that somebody's oh, yeah. phone going off, or is that Lee Press on with one of his electronic no, instruments? Me. I'm just not me. Not no, me. No, it's that. me. Sorry about that. Uh, okay. You know, why don't, why don't we just buy up, like, five crate loads of those fucking red hats and dump those into Fisher A? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And for me, I'm, I'm wearing my hat. By the way, let me ask you a question here, I'm Phil. Why is it? Gun. Why is it you sound plugged up? Who? Who? Me? Yeah, you sound like you have a cold. You know. Uh, I don't know. They just uh, operated on me. Just maybe I do. Maybe I don't. Know. I mean, do they stick stuff in your stick stuff in your nose and stuff? Uh, <laughs> you know, had that they, thing. Uh, they may have probed uh, in, in, in places that I, uh, you know, don't want to talk about. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> well, don't worry. Well, just when, say you were asleep, Phil, and you hope it was with Vaseline. So they just probed your mouth then. And well, Phil, it felt yeah, good. Too, from his nose Phil to his ass. This is what you don't want to talk about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what Kevin said. You know, they'll put you in jail and pass you around like a pack of cools every night. Yeah. So, so what, what are you gonna, Phil? What are you gonna do if you have? What are you gonna do if you have immigrant nurses working on you? Timely. They're all they're all Filipino, and I and I had to meet my girlfriend uh, today so that I would be on the inside track. Okay, uh, because I'm, I, I my my fiance is a, is from the Philippines. Hey, well, by the way, let me ask you this question about Faye, because I, I, this, is a, this is a question that I, I, I looked at your page today, your, your Facebook yeah. page, and it has you listed as engaged, all right? Yeah. How, I gave her the ring. How long well, have you been ring. engaged? I made her an honest woman. How, no, oh. it, it, how long have you been engaged? Uh, six years. <laughs> 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 Now, is there a marriage in sight, anything. or is it just the engagement that is important here? Well, it, it was a very big ring. <laughs> How many so carrots, it, it Phil? Worked. Let's brag. You How many carrots? <laughs> One How many and carrots? a quarter. One and a quarter. <laughs> so the shitter hasn't one? gotten off the pot. The shitter has it's melted and Bryant, molded I into the pot. It's woman sits, but one's good. If you've Six been is engaged. better. If you've been engaged with somebody for six years, and if I were her father, I'd be on the first thing smoking to say, marry my daughter and make her an honest woman. <laughs> the diamond was a, is an, em it's an emerald cut. Dude, it's it's an emerald I cut. I don't so, care if it was a... a, a an, hey, guess what? At the last minute, folks, at the last minute, we have a full house, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Wow. Ray Renati has joined us. Hello, Ray. Hey, Ray. How do you do? Ray, hey. Ray. Hey. Uh, July 21, Dragon House. Oh, that's right. I yeah. Get my ticket. Yeah, uh, we've got an ambulance standing nearby in a stretcher <laughs> right near where... We are for Phil. Oh, I got, I got a great, I got a great ambulance hey. story for you. Got a great ambulance okay. story yeah. for you. My friend Shecky goes down to this, uh, down south, uh, North Carolina or something for this film gathering that one of the many he goes to, and he drives, he's driving the car down there, and he pulls off to the side of the road and passes out. <laughs> Now, the people are with him in the car don't know what the fuck is happening. They're really worried about him. And so they immediately call an ambulance. So the ambulance takes him, and he's had a couple of these fainting spells. So he's trying to figure out what they are. But anyway, they take him to a hospital by ambulance. Three ambulances show up because the first one who gets there gets the job, right? They right. drive him to the hospital. Uh uh, then after that's over with, he has to go back to his car. They get in his car. They start it up, and the whole thing starts smoking and dies flat. Mm. So they then have to hire a tow truck to take them 200 miles Ooh. to where they're going to be going so they can then find maybe a place to fix the car there. 
Now, here's the question. Which was cheaper? The six, the, right. what, the 300 mile tow or the eight mile ambulance ride? Mm, the 300 mile tow. <laughs> what? The 300 mile the tow, tow cost him $600. The ambulance, the ambulance was 800 Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. 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 So the I next time, the too. next time, the next time you have a heart attack or something like that, and you have to be taken to the hospital, call a tow truck. Call a tow truck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. it's cheaper. <laughs> well, when Phil has to be taken home, see if you can do it on it with a cab. <laughs> I, I, yes, exactly. Yeah, I had well, that problem. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, have all the problem. Well, I might, have all I, the ring my girls. Hospital. What? What'd you say? Rock, John? We'll have all the ring girls carry you yeah. out, Phil. Well, John, John, hey. what, what, what were you saying, yeah. John? The last time, the last time back in March when I was in the hospital. Yeah. Uh, oh, no, I'm sorry. It was before that where I they wanted to have me come home with this uh, oxygen tank because they thought I need oxygen. Well, they wouldn't let me just put the tank in the back of a cab. I have yeah. to go back in a... Uh, an ambulance, and they actually strapped me on the, they strapped me into the back of the ambulance, even though I was perfectly, you know, I was perfectly able to walk on my own. Three hundred and fifty bucks for about yeah, Brian a, for about a, a five minute drive. Yeah, you know, exactly, so. Wow. exactly. So you know, all to transport oxygen. Puppy dog. Let's see, what's the name of that puppy dog, Ray? Foxy. She got a haircut. Oh, oh, that's the one oh, you yeah. always take on the really? walk with you. The same dog. Just, yeah, I just didn't notice uh, that dog from the horrible. front. That's all. Because we always see her from the back. Yeah, yeah. She What's got her you know? uh, uh, It's yeah. a summer cut for a puppy. Who did we what lose? We lost. Wait a minute. Well, we lost. Ten and a half years old. old. Who did we lose? Did we lose somebody? I thought we had a full house. We did. Uh, I'm here. Well, we had Lee. We had Phil. Mm -hmm. We had one, two, three, four, five. Hey, girl. And then we had someone else. Who else? Six. We're Brian. Um, yeah, oh, Jack Brian. Bishop left. That's what. You know why? He's got, yeah. he's got a right. show to yeah. do next right after this one. Right. Mm. So quickly, Jack in the about one minute we he, have he, left, uh, who do you think is going to be the Supreme Court justice? Uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, I'm, I'm, pre I'm predicting he's going to nominate Judge Judy. That's what I was thinking. Uh, <laughs> yeah. D. Snyder. Uh, uh, D. Judge Snyder. Is a little too young. <laughs> I think he's going to take the hot woman. He's going to take the hot woman? You mean, you mean no, no, the, the hot woman who's pushed out of herself seven children. Mm. Whoa. Guess who's not for Roe versus Wade? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least not initially, yeah, personally. And that's why well, if you're in a flood, them. that's what you'd rather do, Roe versus Wade. Ooh. Thank you very much, folks. That's, that's my only fun little abortion joke that I've had this evening. So Put I us hope out of our misery and send us over to Jack, please. Yeah, I think please. I'll start the theme here. Put you out of your misery. Anyway, uh, but, but that's the big thing, though, is what's, we should talk about that tomorrow night, about what's going to happen with the Supreme Court. Um, we don't have any say why. Well, I, you know, who knows what's going to happen? I mean, it, it's... Oh, uh, Susan Collins. Yeah, Susan Collins. No, she's not. I'm not banking my entire. Well, that's what that's what that's what, that, that's what John Oliver said about Susan Collins. He said that you know she's the woman that you all think is going to come through for you and then never does. You know, <laughs> Lucy, Lucy and Linus. Lucy and Linus. Oh yeah, yeah. She, yeah, I agree with that. Very good. Hey, listen, Brian, great to have you here as always, uh, uh, and Renee as always. You know, uh, lovely hearing from the uh, island of Huma Huma Nuka Nupa Apo Apa A A. See, I can pronounce it. It's the world's <laughs> that's the world's that smallest breath. fish with the world's longest name. Huma Nuka Aga Gaga. Huma Huma Nuka Nuka Apo Apa A A. There are two A's at the end. Yes, John Rockwell. Thank you, Lee Presson. Call again, and we'll spend more time with us. I will. I'll, I'll check in okay. tomorrow. If you, uh, you uh, uh, Kevin, thank you. You hardly said anything tonight, but it's nice to have Santa on the show. Uh, John Perulis, great seeing you. Ray, at the last <laughs> minute, you made it a full house. Yeah. We thank you for that. And to Phil, get better. Uh, I I say a little prayer every night for you. And uh, well, I'm, I'm, the danger is uh, in the first 24 hours, yeah. you could have a heart attack after they put in a stint. 
Yeah. But I got about 12 hours to go. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, at the last Hello. minute, you'll have the heart attack. No, don't do that. Don't do that. I don't want to attain a horror. No. Hey, everybody, give a big wave goodbye to our audience who's watching you right now. And let me just say for them, thank you so very much. Bye, everybody. Okay, there they go. That's the Citizens Panel for tonight. Uh, there'll be another one tomorrow night, same time. Uh, we got the show coming right up after this one. You know what it's called? It's called uh, The Intersection with Jack and uh, Jack Bishop. And that will uh, be followed at 1 o'clock in the morning by Connections right here on GabNet, your full-service uh, net radio, whatever this is. Anyway, I got to go. I'll see you tomorrow night, same time. Oh, Damien's on first at uh, 9.30. I want to remind you that with the exchange. We'll see you at 10. Same time, same station and live in the meantime. If you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye. Bye.